Good evening people from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Jai here with you. I'll be doing a fragrance review today from the house of Ferrari. So Ferrari is a house, it's a car company and uh, they're actually recently coming up with a lot of uh, good fragrances, solid fragrances, which was not the case in back in the time when they started their fragrance line. Um, when their first fragrances came out, I tried a couple of them. I had Ferraris, red, racing, couple of this black bottle, see-through bottle, red bottle. They were actually below par, honestly speaking. They had terrible performance. Uh, they didn't smell particularly all that special. I wouldn't say good, but it's nothing special. Very cheap kind of 10 to $15 budget perfumes. But now they have the Essence line and they have quite a uh, few other fragrances going on, which I have a few of them. I'm planning to collect a few more. So I'm going to discuss today this one. It's called Pure Lavender. Okay, This is my, I think, fifth or sixth bottle from House of Ferrari. And I also have this one, very beautiful, most popular one right now is Bright Neroli. And uh, also I have the very, uh, I would say popular one currently is Radiant Bergamo. So I reviewed both of them, check them out uh, if you haven't. But before I start, let me say uh, it's a sad day for us, all of us um, just got, I was not feeling all that well. Got sick for last two days due to huge heat and humidity and our fasting month going on. So if you eat wrong, you can get sick. So as you can see, my voice is not really happening. And then I just read the terrible news after I woke up. Um, I saw uh, the very, uh, one of my favorite personalities, you know, like on TV, YouTube, Anthony Bode, he's like, um, he passed away. Kind of, it feels like he, I think it, it appears that he took his own life. Um, you know, he's like, this man was everywhere and he was like a, such a passionate guy. Uh, he was a chef, he was a TV personality and he was taking food and culture and going to places, unknown places, showing us the world, you know. So some people are really special and uh, it's just sad when depression and I heard like drug abuse in the, uh, it's, it's, I don't want to talk ill about the, you know, disease, but it's, it really got me sad. It's a very sad day for us. So rest in peace, sir. We will always uh, cherish your contribution to the society. Okay. So that's one. Um, another thing, uh, like the thing is, you know, um, Sorry, uh, okay, a little bit down. Okay, just uh, two days back, I read a comment um, on my YouTube comment, like one brother was uh, not happy with uh, one purchase that he did on certain fragrance. I think it was this fragrance, uh, Mansera, this is called uh, Wild Cherry. So this fragrance, I reviewed it, I really liked it, but I did say two things. You know, whenever I do reviews, I say two things, always try to, Try a fragrance to your nose and if you like it if your nose likes it go for it okay because there's not given that i like something that is going to work for you uh, i buy a lot of fragrances but i do not receive any free bottles that it's like i hardly do blind buying even if i have to do blind buying i have to see a lot of reviews i have to see notes and stuff and uh, that fragrance right there i didn't say it's a safe blind buy so i feel kind of sad but at the same time you know i think i should tell you one thing I'm not ready to take responsibility for someone blind buying a fragrance based on a review and you know like where I didn't say blind buy a fragrance okay so I actually buy fragrance why I like them all because I know what I'm buying I'm not buying fragrance like mad men or blind right so there is a distinction when people receive free free bottles or a sponsored from a sponsored site it's likely that you're gonna receive something they may like may not like I only try to buy fragrances because I have only limited money, so I can only buy the things that I love, right? So bear that in mind and uh, please do not blind buy and get frustrated, you know. Uh, some things, you know, fragrance are always subjective, right? So getting into this, this uh, Pure Lavender is on the inexpensive side. You can score these bottles, I think only 100 ml bottle sizes, and they are pretty much within $30, $35 on discounted side. So do not pay retail on these fragrances. Here's the box once again. It says Pure Lavender. It looks just like Bright Neroli, Radiant Bergamo and other essence boxes. Nice teaching pattern going on here on the box. It has a leather color up top, the horse, Ferrari, all the name and details. And this is kind of shiny. All right. Side, same like this at the back. It's quality assurance here. The sticker will be there. You can see. And then it's made in Italy, I think. Yeah. Yep. So pretty much that's it. And the bottom, you're going to get your batch code and stuff like that. Okay. So that's the box bottle is really really pretty this is brilliant the juice color itself when you look at it you would be like really smiling because this is very uh sort of like 
you can see i mean just look at it it's like a lavender color it's just brilliant the name and the juice color goes with the juice i mean concept of the fragrance just like the other two you know like if you look at radiant bergamo it's green look at those you know it's just beautiful so here's the bottle and nice cap there's a leather wrap around it, it says the uh, ferrari name of the fragrance heavy glass based bottle very nice bottle see the shape it is a nice curve here if you're seeing this bottle for the first time i'm doing detailed okay and here's the sticker at the bottom it, 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 i think it's lasered more like the back plain okay nothing at the back going on and it's same pattern like you see bottom the base is like this okay and then here is the stitching that ends up top you got ferrari logo it's very heavy metallic cap it's it's good snug fit okay so you can pick it up no problem and uh sprayer looks like that okay and the cap metal okay so very heavy cap and very good quality and this is supposed to represent ferrari's uh, gear knob or shift stick or something like that you call it so it's very beautiful so attention to details in this bottle is really beautiful it actually looks like more than worth 30 35 dollars it could easily be 70 80 dollars which this fragrance used to be before they used to sell like 110 dollars in canada states right so this fragrance let's show you the sprayer yeah uh, i'm wearing something there let's try it here okay sprayer is very good on this okay soft but leaves a nice little mist so this fragrance it's uh for people who like soft and uh like sort of like you know if you're looking for something like a relaxation or therapy that it could work like a spa or um, you do not like obnoxious loud fragrances or you're not looking for something to show off this is the kind of fragrance for indoor or uh, for your personal enjoyment and something to relax uh, the lavender you know like it's a, such a note I'm not very big fan of lavender on the most of fragrances at least designer ones because what they do with lavender is sometimes they make it so harsh like Salvatore Ferragamo F black it makes it headache inducing in the hot summer's day but it's nice but it's it's very loud some of the other lavender they may smell like cleaning products you know like lemon lavender apple they use a lot of this fruity smell in the you know the one the the floor clean floor cleaner that you mop your <laughs> you know the house so sometimes it has that cleaning product feel from lavender lavender is often used in high class soap so it's a nice floral note that can be used right or wrong this fragrance i believe it is used right okay the reason for me to get this is first of all the price was very good justified for 100 ml bottle bottle is really pretty third of all i'm looking for i was looking for a nice uh, lavender based scent that could be a relaxing or wearable something pretty or high class so this fragrance is definitely high class fragrance if you go to fragrantica many people will write they get that uh cleaning product sort of feel so it is as i told you fragrance are very subjective so do try before you buy but uh to my nose on my, in my humble opinion i think this is a very high class juice performance on this is not the best this is one of the weaker performer in the group in the whole essence line i think bright neroli lasts longer than this bright uh radiant bergamo lasts longer than this few others would last longer than this. this is more like ferrari's vumo if you know that fragrance this and that it lasts about all in all maybe three hours on tops tops you know and longevity is like that three and three half hours uh, and as a skin scent projection is very poor it's uh, let me tell you projection is not one of the best you can smell it people give you a hug they give you like they come to give you a case or something they can smell it around you and it doesn't really project more than half half a feet maybe one feet okay and that doesn't make it like an outdoor sea scent um, so the thing is performance i would say it's like if you take an average four and a half to five okay longevity and projection the smell very beautiful smell very nicely blended smooth it's pleasing to the nose and it has some citrus up top but what you're gonna get from it is lavender is in all the stages opening mid and the end but the lavender is sort of mixed with sort of citrus up top and the base i mean the meat it feels like a little bit floral the real uh, lavender flower like you know that that sort of this color if you can imagine this color the lavender smells like original almost like the florals smells like that smells like also like a blue skies you know breezy day kind of springtime would be ideal for it you can also wear it in the summertime this could easily be a unisex fragrance i think it can be used both on men and women but women would really love this fragrance i think women want to appreciate it more occasion you can wear it you can wear it casually day to day indoors if you are 
a little bit stressed you know those air diffuser you know they have the air purifier and they have the air diffuser so air purifier basically make your house smells nice but air, air uh, and the diffuser <laughs> it actually creates a very nice environment uh, in your house it's like fresh air and you smell it and you just if you're stressed it makes you feel relaxed this is relaxation in a bottle so imagine you are in the nature you are at absolute peace you know like very few fragrance do that for me like Elizabeth Arden green tea that one does it Gucci Purong too okay clinic happy for men those fragrances are happy fragrances relaxing fragrances this is one of them I don't think it has so many reviews only four to five good reviews and for good reasons so thing is uh, for the price, I think it's justified. The performance could be better, but I think they're going for that ultimate Durum Cologne. That's sort of a purpose. Like, if you know this fragrance, it's not very super uh, beast mode performer, but it lasts a long time, but doesn't project. But it really relaxes you on a hot summer's day. I think this fragrance right here, Pure Lavender, does the same thing. Uh, you can wear it in the office also, office work. Very good for that. And I think it looks really great on your shelf. And uh, apart from the citruses and the lavender i think pretty much there's some musk at the base so it's like imagine maybe some white florals at the heart so not much going on it's very simple and so the transition is smooth doesn't have too much you know from the opening to the mid so it's it, it wears very relaxing relaxing it's it's easy it's safe it's a kind of those fragrances if you're looking to wow someone or going to be clubbing and stuff this is not for that office casual daily usage uh, if you're staying indoors uh, I think after shower would be great fragrance. Um, seasons, I told you, so versatility, I think it's it's purely for the summers and the spring days, okay? Winter time, I don't think this will be heavy enough, but it's a beautiful fragrance nonetheless. I really like this blend, beautiful smell. Uh, the juice color itself is just staring at it. When I stare at it, it just relaxes me. So overall, this fragrance, I'm gonna give, if not for the performance, just for the smell, I'm gonna give this 7.5 out of 10. Um, Performance is actually important for me because if you have to, you know, reapply every two, three hours, it makes it like the bottle will finish very, very fast. But never mind. The price is kind of on the cheaper side, so I don't mind. So check out Ferrari's Pure Lavender. It's a nice fragrance. It's a very smooth fragrance. High quality juice. It smells quality. Doesn't smell cheap at all. It's, it's really nice. Okay. So check out Pure Lavender by House of Ferrari. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be doing few other fragrance reviews and comparison videos in upcoming time. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.